Uh, today we're at Mendip Plains. Um, I've just gone to hold Nova. He's uh, literally trotted off on me while I was holding him. So I've had to let go. Went for a little trip around the car park. <laughs> <laughs> like, I knew he was obnoxious sometimes. Oh, he's just a bit excited. To be honest, I've held his mother and she was pretty bad, but he topped her. Which I didn't think was going to ever happen. So and I've never now let go of Moon in the car. I've never let go of Moon, whereas him, I just literally, I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Lucy just went trudging off into the distance. I was like, I'm going to have to let go. I'm actually going to have to let go, which I've never done before, or else I'm going to be f skiing. Well, I wasn't even skiing, I'd have been dragged. Yeah, he's pretty determined when he's uh, off somewhere. He's quivering away, high as a kite. He's a bit high. Exactly, we've got a special head colour that means we don't have to let go of anything at any point. Yeah, I was just like, how are you going to get the ride on? Yeah. Luckily, has his name attached to his head collar as well. Well, my sister bought this for me when he was two, in the knowledge that he was going to be just like his mother, and a blooming nightmare to take anywhere, which he is. He's just a bit adrenalinised. Anyway. So why have, you, why have you booked him for today? Uh, because he's ready. He's ready for a camera lesson. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to say that. We're at Mendip Plains, yeah. we've got a camera lesson. Yeah. He's ready for it, he's at that right point and coming back into it. Um, so we're just gonna get some more homework basically. We had another good lesson with Joe this week. Joe is our bread and butter. And then Cameron's just gonna... Is the jam. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Cameron's jam. <laughs> um, no, we're hoping he hasn't actually been up here before. It's quite a local venue for us. Um, so we're hoping to go and just use a nice surface. It's totally frozen at home. Everything else is cancelled, but we're on top of the beautiful Mendip Hills. We've, no, that's well, it. it's not normally the beautiful Mendip no, Hills. No, it's normally freezing cold, cold fog. Anywhere else. But actually, it's nicer here than it is at home. So I can't even ride. I was, uh, Robbie was supposed to be making a 60 centimetre debut today. So that's been cancelled. Incy was supposed to have an arena hire. That got cancelled. So Nova's the only one in action. Right, I don't think we need to ride because he's high, no. warm. Um, and there's a mounting block just over behind you. Just there. I'm going to go get on in by the arena. Okay, I'll see you there. So, I have wrapped up very warm to watch this. I've got the old neoprene wellies on and the special thick gloves. They're waterproof, super warm, useless for doing anything because they're too thick. But for this type of job, perfect. We just about pick up poles. Uh, they're off work gloves. Work gloves by far the best website found for gloves. I have got some thinner waterproof ones. £6.29 the other ones were. so. Would recommend those. Oh look, chances is on. So. So Cameron set up a horrible pole work exercise, which is, this is a four yard, so you need a bigger canter, then you come around to this one, which is three yards, so you need a medium canter, then there's one on the corner, which is shorter again. So. so it's just cantering around and then the exercise will start. So this will be a very tricky exercise for Nova. So big. Outside aid. Ooh. Almost turned too easy, Jancis. Yep. 
So they've got about six strides to adjust the canter. It's actually fine. It's actually fine. Pick it up from this one again, Jancis. Go around, do your big poles again. So you turn too early. Now, if you can get into a bigger canter sooner rather than later, then you can be thinking about your turn at the poles not growing. Now, outside aid and turn. Good, more right leg, small bouncy. Yeah. 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 So, Tegan, do you see where we're going? Yeah. Yeah, do it again, Jancis. So now I want you to keep your right rein a little higher and keep working her off the right side through the exercise. Yeah, still think of it as flat work. You can't fall in on the right shoulder when you're working between gears. Lift the right, lift the right. Better, keep her off the right side, off the right side. Good, lift the right. Good, and again. Good. So you've got to keep the right hand up a little more, Jancis. Keep the left hand low until she goes off the right leg. You're only using the right hand at the moment to back up the right leg until she's more off the right leg. Staying true. Good. Yeah, finish nicely. Get the change. Either through trot or a flying change. Good. Right, Jancis. Yeah. That's all it shows us then when you want to, Grace, you can have a little play now. Yeah. So when you want to do gear changes, fine when you went up again, when you come down again, the straightness went. Yeah, because the hind leg wasn't staying in line with the front leg. Yeah. Um, what did you like about it? I actually was quite pleased with how easy he was to change. Yes. Between the counters. Yeah. Um. I liked how she came out of it as well. Okay. I know you didn't get the change afterwards, but she looked a little more in self-carriage. Okay. So what this is trying to get, what you need to be braver with through the whole exercise, is put her in the gear, then let go of her again. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So that you can adjust yeah. it to come smaller and slower, and then drop her again, and let her yeah. fiddle the pole. If you put her in the right gear, yeah. then leave her alone to fix the gear. Jancis is in her body. Yes, she's just nice and light and in balance, okay? Not saying that's where she needs to stay forever, but it's a position you should be able to do, Tegan. Her leg is under her hip. Yeah, it's not on the shoulder. Does that make sense? It's good to watch sometimes. Now they're doing this exercise backwards. Circle, so. circle. I want you to do an adjustment, then let go of her. You're just hanging on her, and then you're carrying her. Don't carry her through the exercise. Either be a little physical, Wiggle the bit, whatever you need to do, but then let go of her again. And now work, 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 work. Let go. Well done, nearly. Work, work. Drop her. Good girl. Nice, do it all again. Seeking self-carriage, Jancis. Seeking self-carriage. Whoa, whoa, too big, too big. Better. Much better balance. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Too big in the canter. Didn't do enough then. That's better. Good brains. Good, do it again because you needed more adjustment for the collective. You thought you sat her and you didn't do it enough. You know, two steps is quite short, Jancis.
saying her, don't I? I know. I know. Is he so? He just looks like a mare. I don't know why I call him her all the time. Um, the balance got better. Yeah, you've got to do an exercise like this, seeking self-carriage. Not seeking, well, I can hold it in a rhythm. Yeah, that makes sense. Yes. You've got to say, bloody well sit, and, then, and now carry. Yeah. He's come sit. out of a bigger canter, hasn't he? Because last year he'd have really struggled totally. on the longer distances. Totally. Yeah, that's almost your easiest. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and last year, you know, all your time, you were like, more forwards, chances, totally, more forwards. Totally, totally. And now he needs to learn to sit and carry. Yeah. That rain was easier than the right rain. Yes. Yeah. Grace, hold. Egan, you might just want to come sort of where Grace is a bit more. And collect. Yeah, good job. Ignore the lead. Keep yourself carriage. Stay in that gear. Nice. Move with the hands. Seeking self-carriage everywhere. Lift the right hand. Yeah, good balance. Well done. Stay in this gear. Yeah, well done. Okay, slightly different canter. It's about our adjustability. Out you also want to be able to pop, yes, because you might have a bounce on landing where those poles are, or a, or a triple brush, or a jump into water, or whatever, and you want to be able to pop to then react to that one, yeah. Yeah, you're right, because when he went to take me that time, I didn't, I didn't take back. No, no, you didn't move the bit, yeah, yeah. and you just sort of went, oh yeah, take my hand, yeah. yeah, whereas at this height is the chance, you no, know, I meant small, small, you know, you haven't walked the course, pony, I know there's a bounce on landing, or or uh, something tricky on landing.
really good balance. Well, actually, I'm going to critique you, and you'll see it on the video, hopefully. Yeah. Okay. So, two areas that I felt needed improving, and they're both when we add a bit of pace. So when you added a bit of pace this way and you jumped it, you jumped it really nice and forward, yeah. your lower leg for the first the three strides back. on... No, the opposite. Oh, did it? Opposite. It went mega forward. Yeah, you sort of shoved it forward <laughs> when you landed with a bit of pace. Okay. Was lost the shape in the canter because yeah. then the tummy then he went hollowed against then you I had to panic and, and he was hollow in something yeah and he was hollow whereas if you'd have landed with leg under you yeah. even if he was a bit quick you'd have kept a bit of shape yeah. but you lost any roundness in the canter because your lower leg went into almost brace position when he was a bit quick and then likewise that's then when you go big to, to poles yeah. you lose that adjustability and balance again so I just want you to do the first bit up to the yellow again. Yeah, yeah just cross pole, poles, so poles, poles, boxer. Landing with your leg under you more. Even if you're a bit quick, you're better to keep the shape in the canter yeah. than to try and slow down but lose the roundness in the back. Does that make sense? Because if... Bit yeah, you're in a bit there and shoved your leg there and then got a bit here and then the back went like that for him. That even if he's quick, slow, whatever, keep your leg on and under your hips. Okay. Good. Good. Good balance. Francis, what's your verdict? Very good. Uh, he was a bit wired when we got here, but when you start doing exercises with him, he does settle into it. He's still wired. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot to look at. Sheep. <laughs> get him. Mostly sheep. Sheep and horses. And cows.